the first thing we got to do is clean them. I sort of wiped them down yesterday to get most of the road grime off of them. You can see I didn't do do a very good job. But I just wiped them down real quick. They had hella like brake dust on the back. The backs were just black. I know some of you probably get a little offended that I'm painting these, but, but they're all like chipped up. And uh, they got some some rash. Nothing too crazy, but I mean, yeah, they're nice, but they're not that nice. I think these are uh, these are called the US US wheels. I think that's what they're called. But look at that. Look at the, the I mean the quality. Like you can't just rip that off with a pair of pliers real quick. And you think, well, that's not that bad, Rex. Like, why are you tripping about that? But then you come over here, and then on the back of this one, it has another one. It's like. Really, you can't like you can't clean that up just a little bit like that. It, it hurt my finger yesterday when I was wiping them down. Man, in the U.S. the 15 by 10s I think are 130 a piece. They've got to weigh like 30 pounds each. They're they're fucking heavy. But I'm just gonna clean them all one more time and then we we'll get sanding them down with some uh, 150 grit to get it all uh, scuffed up. Then I'm gonna hit it with some 400 and then I'm gonna do the other three. But 150 and then 400 grit just to get it all scuffed up so the paint will stick. This one is by far the worst. I don't know. I don't know how well it picks up on camera, but this one has all kinds of rash on it. Just listen, look. These wheels were stamped. They were made last year, so in one one year. And I know the guy I bought them from didn't use them much, but somebody had a bunch of rash on them. So we're gonna sand this down. Got most of this road rash gone. Well, it's a lot smoother than it was. Paint should cover most of it up, but. If you got road rash and you're gonna paint your wheels, just use like a heavy grit, then a lighter and a lighter till you get it to where it's decent. And then with some self-etching primer, I bet this shit would damn near disappear. So I'm gonna clean them, let them dry, then I'll hit them with the air gun, and then I'll wipe them down again with the microfiber, and then we'll tape them off. Okay, there's quite a few different ways you can uh, tape off your rims for paint. Uh, the easiest way is probably just get like a, a deck of playing cards, and you can just shove them in between the lip of the rim. I suppose that would work, but on these ones, there's, there's like too big of a lip, and uh, I'm, I'm going to a different color. I'm sure if I was keeping the same color white, I would just do playing cards, and I would just hit it and do another uh, coat of white, but we're going to do a color change without taking the tires off, so we're going to get the tape two to three inches, and you put the top of the tape against the rim, and you just slide it down as far as you can, and then uh, just press it down, and then go around the whole rim like that. Just roll of paper. I think it's for like a house or whatever. It's fairly cheap. It's like three dollars, and I've already used like half this roll. So you just get like I don't know. It's about two feet, and you just start on one side, and then you can just fold it over, and you just fold it over, and put some more tape, and then fold it and keep taping. I know this is like real basic to some of you, but come a little shack set back up. The color I'm using is a metallic uh, dark copper. So we probably need about one can for each rim. You just wanna go nice and easy. Just like that, base coat. This isn't, we're not painting. This is just the base coat. After this dries, we'll come back through and we'll hit it and we'll, we'll take our time and go easy on it. We're gonna let this sit about 20, 30 minutes and uh, when you're done with your spray can, hold it upside down and spray it so it goes clear. Try to get all that shit out of the out of the tip so you don't uh, clog them. You just shake the can really well, and then on the on the second coat, you want to take your time and you want to make sure you're you're real even with it, and you you're consistent with the distance. If you start getting too close, too far away, you're gonna start to have runs, and it's not gonna look very good. Like yeah, on that base coat, we can just spray around and act crazy, but now that it's dry, you want to take your time. Just go in nice light coats. And let that dry. Second coat, I'm gonna let that dry. This is what four coats look like. Now you may think like, oh, I'll just stop right there. But you gotta remember, next time you change your tires, the edges are gonna get all fucked off because you didn't put enough paint on there. So don't stop, keep going. I got like another can to go. And then be sure to let it dry overnight because you don't wanna start putting them back on and then have the paint not cure and then you scratch it or something like that. So just don't be impatient. So it's the next day, the paint is completely dry. I've got a little decal right here, rusty trombone. I'm gonna put it on the inside of the lip. I got these from uh, JDM Rats on Facebook. Uh, go check them out. I'll try to put a link in the description. If not, just look up uh, JDM Rats. There's a bunch of uh, 
There's a bunch of Civics and, uh, well, JDM rats. I don't know if they come with center caps. I'm not sure. I never got them. It's all brown and rusted, so I'm gonna show you how to paint those. The simplest way to paint these. Check this out. We'll do this side first. So I finished with these like three weeks ago, but I'm really bad at ending videos and uh, staying track on videos. I know this one's kind of long, but they're done. Uh, my fitment's still shitty. I want to cut my rear quarter panels, but I'm going to make that into a video because I'm going to cut them and like bring them up like three inches and then like weld everything back. So I don't have to get the like rocks in the car and shit. Stock lug nuts, they're fucking trash. I don't want those shitty spiked ones. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm in the process of making this thing so I can daily it again. But uh, that's the end of this one. Uh, peace pimps, uh, type number two in the chat if you smoke meth.